Okay, so in this video, we're gonna have a look at making better keyboards for DSLR Remote Pro. Now a standard, you do get some functional keyboards, but they're not the most beautifully designed keyboards going around. So what we've done is created some new templates in Canva that look a lot nicer, but also allow you to more easily modify them to your needs. So let's have a look at how this works. Uh, we have a little micro website set up just called keyboards.card.co, and I'll put the description to that in, the link to that in the description. And this will link you to the XML file and the Canva design files. Now the XML files are needed because that's how Breeze knows where the touchscreen actions go. And the Canva, the Canva design files are your graphical element. Now, as you know, with DSI Remote Pro, all your screen designs and keyboards need to be designed for the specific screen resolution that you're using. At the moment, we've got a bunch of options here and we'll keep on adding to this. Or if we are missing your required screen resolution, just drop us an email and we can look at adding that in. Now today I'm using a Surface Pro 9, so that's 2880 by 1920. So we'll just go ahead and right click on this, on the Canva files and just open up a new tab. And then we can see we've got the Canva design template here. So if we just say a use template for new design, that'll open up a Canva document with these designs here. So basically what we've got two, there's a numerical keypad layout and a full keyboard layout. Now with the numerical keypad, we've actually given you a couple options here. So we have a centered version. So it's just nice and neat, everything in the middle. And that's all the required screens. And then we have a left version. So you can have the keypad to the left and then the numbers will appear over here to the right. Now this would be handy if you're doing maybe something like trading card and you just want a bigger space to maybe put some more graphical elements around what you're doing. And if we keep going, we also have a right justified version as well, where the key will, keypad will be on the right. And if we scroll on past that, we have the full keyboard. So these are just nicer designs than the stock standard ones that you get out of the box with Breeze. But the good thing about these is that you can very quickly and easily change the colors and fonts in Canva and export these. But let's have a quick look at how this works. So you'll notice that all the pages here are named with the correct keyboard name. So these are MMS underscore keyboard underscore lowercase. So this is the keyboard you'd typically use for sending SMSs, but you could use it as a survey keyboard as well by renaming it accordingly. This is the lowercase screen, but the pressed version. And then we also have the uppercase uh, versions as well. So let's go ahead and export these keypads and get them into DSLR Remote Pro so we can see how they look. But maybe before we do that, let's just jump into DSLR Remote Pro. And see what the stock standard ones look like. So we'll come into file down to photo booth settings. And if we go across to our touchscreen settings and then to test keyboard and we go to the MMS keyboard, we can see this is what the standard Breeze uh, SMS numerical keypad looks like. Perfectly functional, but it's just not the nicest design. Whereas if we come back to Canva for a moment, this is what we've got, which I think just looks a whole lot nicer. So let's run with this one. So what we need to do in Canva is export these screens. Now we'll go download. We want to export as JPEG. And we don't want to download all the pages. We'll just download the four pages we need for that left justified numerical keypad. So we've got the numerical left here. So what we'll actually quickly do is uncheck all the pages because we don't want to export all of them. We'll just tick the four, the four screens that we need here. So we'll go done and then download. And we'll just wait for that to download. Okay, so we'll just come to our zip file, open it up. We'll grab these files and we will copy them Control C, and then we will go find our screen asset folder. Now, if you don't know what your screen asset folder is, we can come back in to Breeze, and it is this folder down here. So we're looking in our documents folder, photo with images, keyboard demo in this case. So I go to my documents folder, photo with images, and I'm looking for a folder called keyboard demo. There it is and we can paste those new screen assets into here. Make sure they're copied. Yep, here they are, down the bottom. Now on their own, they're not gonna do anything because we also need the XML file because the XML file will tell Breeze where to place the touchscreen actions in relation to this graphic. 
So what we'll do is come back to that card website and we want to go down to the 2880 by 1920 uh, section and we want to click on the XML file. So that's going to download another zip file and if we open this one up, we are looking for the MMS left folder because we are using the left justified MMS keyboard and we want to copy that XML file and then we want to go back to that screen assets folder which was called keyboard demo and we'll paste it into here. Okay, so should, now we should have all the files that we need, MMS keyboard and the four graphic files here. So now if we come back into Breeze and go to our touchscreen settings and go test keyboard and go to MMS, there you go. We have a much nicer keyboard design. We can just give it a go. Just like that. So it works great. Now let's have a quick look at how we could just tweak the design of that just a little bit. Now the key thing is that because the XML defines where the touchscreen actions are. The trick is not to go moving the position of buttons around unless you also want to move the X, adjust the XML as well. And we can cover that off in another video. But in this video today, I just want to show you how we change the color and the style of the keyboard as an easy way to completely change the look and feel of it. So we'll come back into our Canva file here. Uh, so let's say we want to change the font of the, the numbers here. We can select we can select all the elements here and at the moment we're using space mono uh, but we could change that to something like this lazy dog font if we wanted to go something a little more fun and if we really wanted to we could also change the color of these buttons maybe we go for sort of like a pink color and maybe we'll change this block here to let's go, we'll go a darker color and maybe we actually want to bring this all the way across and we'll change that to a lighter color, but we have something like that. Now, what we need to do is also replicate that on all the other screens that we've got. So we'll just go ahead and select all that. We'll change that font to Lazy Dog. I'll quickly do this for the other versions of the screen here. Okay. Oops. All right. So then we'll come back up here. We'll just, um, we need to change the color of these ones. So we might make that sort of an inverse. So when you tap the pink button, it'll go white, but we need to change the color of the font as well. So we'll make that black. And this one here, we are gonna make pink. What do we do up here? Yep, we're gonna make, make that one pink as well. And we're going to make, oh, make that one pink too. And we'll make this one white. Uh, we'll change the font to black. Now uh, we'll make this pink. And then we're going to make these black. Okay, we need to make that one white. It's probably an easier way I could have done this just by copy and pasting some of the other other files. But you get the idea. And this one here. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and export those screens. So I'll go download. Let's make sure that is JPEG. Select the screens that we want, which are going to be these four here. We'll download those ones. Okay. We'll just copy those. And we'll come into our documents folder, photo with images, and our keyboard demo. And we'll paste these in and we'll replace the existing files. Okay, so now if we go back to DSL Remote Pro, test our uh, keyboard. We should now see that we've got our new pink version. This is all quite nice. Now the same process uh, applies for the full keyboard. So if we come back into Canva, uh, 
Let's see down the bottom, we've got our full keyboard here. Um, so we can go ahead and modify that if we need to, but all we need to do is just uh, download these files as JPEGs. And then let's come to the bottom of the list here and we'll just select those last four uh, keyboard files and we'll download those ones. Uh, while we're waiting for that to download, we'll also, uh, we've actually already got the XML, so that's fine. So we'll grab, grab the graphics, copy that back to our documents folder, photo booth images, keyboard demo, paste those in here. Okay, so we've got them down the bottom there. And now we just need to get from our downloads, our XML folder, our email keyboard XML. We'll grab that. And we'll just come back. And go back to our demo folder, paste that in, replace the one that's already there. And now when we come to test our keyboard, we can go to email and we have a nice new um, a new, nice new design keyboard, which looks a lot better than the old one. Um, so that's basically how you do it. It's actually really not that, uh, not that difficult. So you can make tweaks to your designs in Canva, export the files, copy them into your screen assets folder, along with the new XML file that we've designed. Now, the other thing about these XML files is just sort of tidied things up a bit. On the stock keyboards, you'll find that the the next or the send or the close buttons were the other way around, which I always felt was just a little bit uh, a little bit strange because I think naturally you want to expect that your next button will be on the right and the close is on the left, whereas the, it was the other way around. So we fixed a few things like that as well. So there you go. So that's how you get some better keyboards. We'll make some more videos just showing a few more advanced things you can do with these, but this is just enough to get you up and running to get keyboards that I think just look a whole lot nicer. If you have any questions, jump into the comments and let me know.